The U.S. government launched dozens of missiles at a Syrian airfield in retaliation for a chemical attack on civilians on earlier this week, providing the first direct U.S. military intervention in Syria's long-running civil war a day after President Donald Trump said the use of chemical weapons by the government would not be tolerated. More than 50 Tomahawk cruise missiles were fired targeting a single Syrian air base from the USS Porter and Ross in the eastern Mediterranean under President Donald Trump's orders. A U.S. defense official said the strikes, targeted the base's twin runways, gas, fuel pumps and other infrastructure. The target was only one base, the official said. At least 70 people, including 10 children, were killed in the chemical attacks on Tuesday, in which banned poisonous gas was used. Speaking to reporters from Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, Trump said that the missile strikes were in the vital national security interest of the United States. It was a slow and brutal death for so many, he said of the attack, adding that there can be no dispute that Syria used chemical weapons. Even beautiful babies were cruelly murdered in this very barbaric attack. No child of God should ever suffer such horror. Tonight I ordered a targeted military strike on the airfield in Syria from where the chemical attack was launched, the president announced from his Mar-a-Lago resort in Palm Beach, Flahi, where he is meeting with Chinese President Xi Jinping. It is in this vital national security interest of the United States to prevent and deter the spread and use of deadly chemical weapons. As long as America stands for justice, then peace and harmony will on the end prevail, Trump said. He called on civilized nations to join the United States in seeking to end the slaughter and bloodshed in Syria. U.S. military officials said they informed their Russian counterparts of the impending attack in an effort to avoid any accident involving Russian forces. Nevertheless, Russia's deputy UN ambassador Vladimir Safaronkov warned that any negative consequences from the strikes would be on the shoulders of those who initiated such a doubtful and tragic enterprise. The attack was a reversal of Trump's previous opinions of what should be done in Syria. He had urged President Obama not to strike in 2013 without congressional authorization. But Trump earlier this week acknowledged that his opinions had changed, particularly after viewing images of the victims of the attack. The missile attack on Syria opens a new dimension into U.S. involvement in the region, which had so far focused on airstrikes against ISIS targets. targets.